dear students in this lecture we will discuss about the controllability and observability in discrete time systems so uh, to understand the concept uh, let us consider uh, a system linear time invariant system uh, which is discrete in time and is represented by these uh, this state equation right and then we have another equation which represents the output of the system now this equation is basically the state equation and it represents the dynamics of the system so it contains the dynamics and this is the output equation right so there are two equations of uh, a system a linear time invariant system uh, and these two equations collectively are known as the state space model or we can also say uh, the state variable model or state variable representation of the discrete time system so uh, in this uh, we have several matrices like f matrix g matrix c matrix and d matrix so these matrices are like this f is the state matrix or it is also known as the system matrix this g uh, sorry system matrix so this g is the input matrix and this c is the output matrix and this is the state transmission matrix so uh, this matrix f it contains all the elements of the states of the given system this matrix g it contains all the elements of the input c contains all the elements of the output and d contains all the uh, other elements uh, which uh, are responsible for the transmission of the state right the rank uh, the dimensions of f is n by n and g is a column matrix c is basically a row matrix and d is a scalar and this is for a ciso system right this is for a ciso system ciso means single input and single output so single input single output system right similarly we have the state variable representation for a multi variable system right so now let us come to uh, the two very important topics of uh, uh, this particular chapter and these are controllability and observability right so uh, to design the controller right so to uh, design the controller for a system which is expressed by these equations right which is expressed by the equations fxk plus guk and yk is is equal to cxk plus duk so to design the controller for this system which is linear time invariant discrete time system we need to know whether this system is controllable or not observable or not if this system is neither controllable nor observable then we cannot design controller for this particular system so it becomes very important for us to understand the controllability and observability uh, just to understand whether the system is controllable or observable or not right so what is controllability so any linear system which is expressed by the equations as 
given here x k plus one is equal to f x k plus g u k and y k is equal to c x k plus d u k. So any system expressed by these two equations. So if there is any input u k, right? So u k is nothing but the input, and if this input in n sampling, uh, you know, in n samples or in n sampling uh, intervals, you can say, if this could take the state, right? Take this state from x naught to x one in n samples, right? In n samples, so we can say that this x naught is controllable. If all the states of this given system are controllable, we will say that the system is completely controllable, or you can say it is controllable, right? So now there is a system which has certain state at zeroth sample, and this system has an input u k. So if this system can transfer if this input sorry can transfer the system state from this value to some x1 in n samples in n samples right so we will say that this particular state of the system the initial state this is the initial state initial state of the system is controllable and if all the states of the system are controllable or all the initial states of the system are controllable we will say that the system is completely controllable otherwise it is not controllable it is uncontrollable now there is a mathematical way of uh, uh, determining whether the system is controllable or, or not so there is a necessary and sufficient condition for that so the necessary and sufficient condition for any system which is expressed by equation 1 which are given in the previous slide uh, to be completely controllable so we have a controllability matrix or matrix u which is given by this, uh, you know, which has all these elements G, F, G, F square G and like that. So if the rank of this matrix is equal to N, if it has full rank, right? If it has full rank, so we can say that uh, if this matrix has full rank or the rank is equal to N, so we can say that the given system that is X, K plus one is equal to F, X, K, plus g u k and y k is equal to c x k plus d u k so this system is completely controllable now in controllability matrix we are only dealing with the matrices which are present in the state equation right we do not have c or d means the matrices which are present in the output equation right so now let us come to the next point, next very important uh, you know, aspect of uh, control system, which is observability. Okay, observability says that the system state should be observable. So we should have the method, we should have the mechanism by using which we can easily observe uh, the state of the system or we can keep the system under observation. If any one state of the system is observable and if all the states of the system are observable we will say that the system is observable right that is we can easily you know observe the system we can easily understand the internal uh, process of so for any linear time invariant system discrete time system which is expressed by equation 1 a and 1 b which are given on the first slide of this ppt uh, you know, we need to know uh, the input of the system that is UK and then we need to know the output of the system. If we have the knowledge of the input of the system, if we have the information about the input of the system, if we have the information about the output of the system, right? So we can say that the state that means the information of these two parameters like input and the output of the system is sufficient is sufficient for n samples it, it is it is sufficient to uh, determine the state the initial state of the system and in that case we can say that uh, this initial state x naught is observable 
okay i repeat if the information if the knowledge of the input for all k's k means all samples which belong to a real domain that is 0 and n minus 1 and the information of the output for all samples right for all k's which belong to you know 0 and n minus 1 range and for all the n samples right there are n samples basically from 0 to n minus 1 there are n samples right so this information of these two parameters is sufficient to determine the state at k is equal to 0 that is x raised to the power 0 this is not x raised to the power 0 means it is not 1 it is a notation given to the initial state right so this initial state is said to be observable right if all the initial state of the system which is given by equation 1 if all the initial conditions if all the initial states of the system are observable so we will say or we can see if all the states of the system are observable so we will say that the system is completely observable or simply observable otherwise it is, it is unobservable that means we cannot put this system under observation so it becomes very difficult almost impossible to design controller for this particular type of system if we cannot observe a system uh, we cannot design the controller for the system for such system right so the necessary and sufficient condition for such type of system is that there is an there is uh, an observability matrix uh, which has the dimensions n into n and the rank of this matrix which is given by v is equal to c cf cf square cf like that it is a column matrix right it is a column matrix if the rank of this system is full or you can see if the rank of this system is equal to n so we can say that the system which has this matrix and its rank is n so such system is observable or we can say it is completely observable right so controllability and observability are two such aspects which are very important while designing a controller for any given system right so we can say that these are the tests which we must perform on the given system which is expressed by a state variable representation or state space model uh, we should uh, have these matrices u and v to test the controllability and observability of the system before designing any controller for such system right now how will we come to know whether the given system is uh, the rank of the system rank of these two matrices is full or the rank of these two matrices is equal to n okay so um, the rank of u that is controllability sorry controllability matrix and v that is observability matrix okay so full rank or rank should be equal to n so how will we come to know if the determinant of this is not equal to zero if these two matrices have determinant non-zero, we can say that these two matrices have full rank or rank equal to n. So this is how we can find out. So now uh, this is how we can find out. So to find out the controllability or, or to test the controllability and observability of a given uh, system, uh, we need to have a system represented in state variable form like this okay and we must know these matrices f and g and then we must know the matrix c also because uh, these matrices are you know used here you can see like here c and f are used and similarly in uh, 
controllability matrix we have uh, g g f like that so we are using g and f matrix right so these two matrix are being used so we must know all these matrices then we must apply the matrix multiplication and then we can find out the uh, you know u matrix and v matrix after that we can find out their determinant if the determinant is non zero we can say that the given matrix has full rank or rank equal to n so this is it for today's lecture and thank you so much